Hey guys, this is the Gaming Robot, and I want to welcome you back once again to the Birch Forest Railway. We are currently on location at ter Village Terminus, hence the village which is over here, and this is part of one of the main station buildings that I'm trying to plan out. But we're not going to worry about that, and I'm also going to take the doors because I'm a stickler for realis realism. We'll just go through the doors here, close the doors there. And, uh, yeah, this is Thunderbolt just standing on a main pedestal. It's a little off-center, off so I'm going to have to fix that later. That's not the reason we're here. The reason we're here today is um, to share some news, give some updates um, on the future of this railway in particular, as well as what's going on with the Immersive Railroading mod. So we've currently got the Class 08 Arc Shunter set up here with the permanent way train, which is just a mixture of British freight wagons. So you've got a brake van, a box van, a 13 plank and then 10 plank, six ton truck, essentially. It's all symmetrical because that's just me. So we're gonna cheat and fly over. And here she is, lovely BR Green Class 08 Loco. So the plan is we're just gonna take this train along the line, probably stopping at Shed Station, and I'll just show you what it is that I've been doing um, along this line because there's nothing aside from midpoint station nothing externally building wise has been made um, so let's get this show on the road and seeing as we are a freight loco we do not need to wait for guard but we should probably signal I've also got to remember that I'm going backwards I made that mistake in the, in the double header so First things first, um, update wise with this particular railway, um, I extended the head shunt on this section so that it curves around at a less steep tight angle, but it means that we go up a lot steeper. So we need a good amount of speed to not only get us up this part of the corner, um, is also to get us through the next section of the tunnel. I'm not sure that I'll do this first person all the way. Um, so tunnel wise, every tunnel that I've got on the railway, I have ex managed to expand one block each side. We are not struggling yet, that's good. We've got the right amount of speed. So usually if we were, oh I'm running brake man. If we were on the original part of the line, we would have gone through there and it would come right up and around, I believe. But this is the new part of the line and you'll see over here that's either here or here is where the there that's the original cutting as you can see and it's a lot tighter of an angle um, so as we go into the tunnel or not we are already slowing down I should probably put some speed on as the chunk slowed and the tunnel darkens yeah, I don't really know why I don't do much, why I bother expanding the tunnels when not many people are going to notice it unless they've got a night vision potion on. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So let's go with the first of um, news, I guess. So apologies for not uploading on schedule last week i was suffering from a creative burnout and an emotional burnout um i would didn't touch this for over about two weeks after the last video um i was mostly on gta just grinding some cash um to buy a bunker but that's not the point the creative burnout was the fact that this is all single player everything you see around here um was done by me all of the sculpting the track laying um driving the locos it's all done by me at the moment my online problems are struggling i can't really make a local world thing because of something that i have overlooked in the code um probably tunnel 
So as we gather speed and go over the National Heritage Speed Limit because my railway and steepness become out over the top of the brow or the crest and I get some terracotta for my troubles. So yeah, um, that's basically the reason I had a creative burnout. Emotional burnout is because I'm dealing with some stuff. Um, in life at the moment I need to slow down which unfortunately affects my motivation and then just stops me from doing anything except watching YouTube however I have been catching up with what I missed in childhood which is um, just some anime series mostly I've been watching Wagon Midnight and I'm currently on season 2 episode 20 season 2 yeah um, of Transformers Prime, which is just so good for me. Because I missed it um, when I was of the age because my parents controlled the telly and there were curfews and set time limits and dinner breaks. Ugh. But rather than me moaning about my childhood um, and how I'm having to relive it again, let me just stop mucking around with the breaks and we'll pull into Midpoint Station um, and I'll show you around some of the carriage settings, I guess. Anything for a bit of visual interest. So, that would be mostly about me sort of up, of news. Um, let's go with channel news, I guess. So, channel news wise, um, even with my small absence um, from the railway, the videos, don't you dare cow. The videos have been doing quite well, um, getting more views per week, and I'm always checking daily because I'm that vain. Um, and in a world where numbers matter more than opinions, or matter about the same as opinions, the higher the number, the better you're apparently doing. Not always the case, but for some it is. So let's get off here, um, should I check there? Yeah, she'll be fine. So yeah, this is Midpoint Station, you've already seen it, we're not heading here, let's move on to the carriage sightings that I didn't show last time because I was working on them, but they're here anyway, so we might as well have a look at them. Um, this time, however, it's not on such a steep angle um, or a tight radius curve point which goes off a bridge. Instead, it's mm, subtle angle. This is a very nice point for me. So, like I was saying, um, with the channel itself, let me just get a, yeah. With the channel itself, um, the view count is quite good and I am enjoying my small shining moments, I guess. Um, we're not gonna be doing, we're not gonna be doing anything too drastic, we're not be getting over a thousand views in three days like most popular YouTubers. But no, I enjoy my small corner of the internet, um, and there's not much pressure to upload regularly, so I can upload as I please, which is always nice. Um, things will probably change as time goes on if this does become successful, which I hope it does, but that's not the point. Um, like I said, views have been doing well, and we actually managed to gain two subscribers last week. So thank you to those who have subscribed um, recently and in the past. Um, it's really good to see those who are from past subscriptions still enjoying my content, even though it may have been two years of waiting. Sorry. So. That's probably about as much channel news as necessary. The other thing um, we'll get going um, relates more to the mod. So, as I have stressed many times, within the mod itself, it's a lot more continental and transcontinental um, based. So you've got your European trains, which is like French, German, a uh, few others, you've got some from uh, the east side of the world, and there's loads of those sort of trains, and I'm just going to call them continental because going through 
each one could trigger some people. So you will play first person. So let's get this going, hopefully. And we're off. Ooh, steady start. And I'll ride in a brake van this time because I'm stupid. Actually, no, we're going to need some speed out of here. So, like I was saying, um, it's all continental and American based, um, and that's mainly, mainly because of where the members of the Discord come from um, and their interests, which I have no say in and I'm perfectly fine with. But there is good news for the railway. I have heard of rumours of um, some more BR or British um, railway related stock coming to the mod sometime soon and I was able to get in touch with um, one of the creators of um, some of the stock and yeah I'm not exactly sworn to secrecy but I'm not going to get anyone's hopes up because as per usual when any creator is doing something um, related to a game or to a mod it's on their time and their own time. So you can't expect things to come out immediately as soon as they've said it. Um, but the creator is kind enough to show previews of what he's doing and it does look pretty good. Um, over here, going back to the railway, over here is just some more terraforming that I've done to make tracks less suspendy. And I've also added a bridge which goes into the tunnel and we are struggling. We are struggling badly. There we go. Nice and gently up here. This needs to become a bridge. I need to put a bridge here. And I probably need to do something with this little section over here just to... Actually, nah, it's fine. And as we go into the tunnel... Oh, that's the chunks load, sorry. Ew, rip. And it starts to sound like a kazoo. Like I was saying, um, development, as I I know development takes time, so the chances of seeing um, this these new locos or stock um, coming to the mod anytime soon will be slim. But I have faith in those creators that they'll get it done and it will be to a s standard finish or a finish that's good across the board um yeah i guess i count myself as an unofficial representative of immersive railroading um mainly because i created an entire railway based on it and i've also made videos on it um most people will review the mod and then leave it um, and move on to another mod but with me at this moment i've seen it as a source of content and have made an entire heritage railway based on it for some reason which is not bad, it's all good. Um, but yeah, this has just been a nice, chill kind of video. We've just been talking about stuff. Um, anything else that I have to say? Oh, apparently that. No, I don't. So, yeah, as we pull into Shed Station, um, again, not a lot of work has been done because of the amount of times I haven't been here. I managed to, I literally probably burnt out on trying to get the entirety of Midpoint Station done in two days, which was interesting, I suppose. Let's begin to slow down a lot more. There we go. Nice and gently. Perfect. So, yeah, while I get out on the wrong side of the station platform, that is probably everything that I've got. Let me just think if there's anything else. No. Well, I guess. So the future of the, the, this particular railway will depend whether I can come up with some creative ideas of what we can do with it. For example, what locos to run, where to run them to, passenger services and such. Um, this freight service was not a bad idea, come to think of it. I thought of it on the spot. Um, 
because I did want to show you guys what it's like to just build in this world, but I'd already built the bridge that I was going to build. So, yeah. Um, but no, I'm rambling again. So, the future of this railway, at the moment, is safe. If this British railway stock comes out and is good, well, actually, I don't, I don't doubt that it's good. It's being made in Blender, so it's, it's going to be good. Um, but I'm not going to give away too many details because, as like I said, um, it's all being done in the developer's free time, so it means that we just have to wait and hope and not get our expectations up if things go wrong. But like I say, the future of the railway is safe. It does mean that I'm going to have to put more effort into it to get things running, to get things going, to make things more enjoyable for the viewers. Um, I'm saving up a good amount of money to start upgrading some parts of my technology, I guess. Which also brings me on to one of the last questions. Do you guys want me to stay with the Birch Forest Railway, continue work, continue quote quote developing it or would you like some more general content um stuff like gta 5 which might be a bit of an issue if i'm trying to be a family friendly channel or maybe roblox maybe some survival minecraft as bad as i am at it it is entirely up to you if you do have a good idea for either what we can do railway wise here or general content let me know but this has been enough rambling. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you stuck to the end, that's great. Um, it means I'll have a le more likely chance of getting responses to my questions. And if you did enjoy this kind of quite chill, quite nice railway journey along the Birch Forest Railway, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you want this content on a more regular basis. Please don't forget to subscribe if that's what you want to do. And... Uh, yeah, until the next time, I'm off to do some stuff, so see ya.